Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored Never Boring. At the moment, Games Workshop seem to be releasing so many new box sets, they're almost tripping over themselves trying to get them out of the door. It's certainly keeping me busy, I can barely make the videos quickly enough. Today, they have made the big but expected announcement that they are releasing new starter sets for Age of Sigmar. This fits the pattern they have already established with 40k, where there's a fancy limited edition launch box, for 40k that was Indomitus, for Age of Sigmar it was Dominion, followed by a tiered set of three starters that cater for different players and budgets. The first starter is called Warrior and is the pocket money level introduction to the system. It's the proper starter starter set for younger players, people who have never played before, may never have played a miniatures game before, or maybe for people who want to run little taster events at game clubs. You get 18 miniatures comprising a Knight Arcanum, 5 Vindictors, 10 Gut Rippers and a Killer Boss with a Stab Grot. That's a decent amount of miniatures to get started in the game and to give a new young player a feel for what it's all about. To round out the package there's a thin card mat, unit cards, dice, measuring sticks, the core rules leaflet and a separate manual. Also, the box insert can be flipped upside down and used as a building. The second set, Harbinger, is much larger and it's designed so that if you bought Warrior first and wanted to go from there, you can pick up Harbinger to expand your forces without doubling up on characters. It contains the same 5 Vindictors and 10 Gut Rippers from the Warrior set, but drops the Knight Arcanum and Killer Boss. It then adds 3 Praetors, a Lord Imperitant and a Griffhound from the Stormcast, while the Oryx get 10 Hobgrot Slitters and a Swamp Caller Shaman, along with a Pot Grot. Combine these two sets and you have two skirmish sized forces with some interesting characters. Of course, the Harbinger set also includes dice, measuring sticks, unit cards, core rules, manual, card mat and a box that doubles as terrain. The third set, Extremis, has all the same miniatures and bits and bobs as Harbinger, but it upgrades the thin card mat for a thick board and adds in proper plastic terrain. It also includes the full rules book, and this is the most complete introduction to the game of the three. Personally, I have been a big fan of these tiered starter sets since Games Workshop introduced them. I think they are carefully constructed, generous in terms of content for price and work excellently as stepping stones or building blocks for advancing people through the early stages of getting involved in a new game. Talking about the price, the prices haven't been confirmed yet, or at least not that I'm aware of. I would expect them to fall roughly in line with the prices of the 40k starter sets, which in the UK is £32.50, £65 and £105. In conjunction with these starter sets, Games Workshop is also releasing some paint sets. There's a basic Age of Sigmar paint set with 13 12mm paints, brush, side cutters and mould line remover. Then there's a Stormcast paint set with 5 paints, a brush and 2 Vindictors, and an Auroch paint set with 5 paints, a brush and 3 gut rippers. I'm actually quite tempted to get that last set, just to get a couple of the cool gut rippers without having to buy a full box or one of the starter sets. But anyway, those are the new releases, and of course, Dominion is still available as well. I feel a bit like Games Workshop's release schedule might be overtaking them a bit here. I suspect they may have planned to have sold out of the Dominion box set already, but as I record this, that box set is still readily available, not just from Games Workshop, but from many third-party retailers. I have to wonder now if perhaps a lot of those boxes are going to be left on the shelves for a long time. Games Workshop are certainly making a concerted effort to push sales for Dominion. In the community post for the new starter sets, they called Dominion the ultimate introduction to Warhammer Age of Sigmar. I think that's debatable as Dominion doesn't include dice, measuring sticks, a board or terrain. However, it does at least indicate that Games Workshop themselves see these launch boxes as starter sets, which is something that has been debated in the past. Oh, and do note, Games Workshop are saying there aren't many Dominion boxes left, and they reiterate what they have said before, there won't be any more coming. I still wouldn't panic too much though, I just checked the Element Games website and they are still showing more than 10 in stock, and that's with a 15% discount on the recommended retail price. But anyway, I think that's it for this particular announcement, they haven't given the release date or the price yet, so I will have to do an update video once that information is out. 
Until then, let me know your thoughts in the comments because that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider pressing the like button. If you've really enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.